doing is demonstrating our Flexmatic 10 benchtop unit uh, pouring table top. We've already preset and calibrated up a ratio of what we're looking at here is like 100 parts of polyol to 39 parts of isocyanate. We're going to start, what we have is a modified tip that is the entry or the sprue hole of the mold. We're going to insert it. We're going to fill. We'll see the material when it's filled. We'll come out the vent holes in the back. We're going to remove the hose and flush. Starting the process, what we want to do is number one, we want to start our mixer. Mixer started. We're going to start the pour. Pour it, material's coming out, insert in the hose. What we're going to do is hold it here. We're going to wait until the material fills up. Right now we're just in the pour process. Material's going into the board about approximately four pounds a minute. Total output. And in just another few seconds, we should start seeing it come out of our fill ports. Don't see it. And it should start to come out. We want to make sure that there's no air. As you see, we didn't introduce any air at the beginning of the shot. We're removing, stopping the floor, starting our flush cycle, cut off our mixer. Air purge dry. What we'll do is we'll wait for this board to cure. We'll demo and we'll run another board for you, showing you the simplicity of our equipment. What was that ratio? That ratio was 100 parts to 39. As you'll see, the pumps are, this piece of equipment has been sized for a particular ratio close to 2 to 1. That's why you have almost a match on RPM, similar to the equipment which we'll be supplying for you. I'm doing this board was a NAU, NAU uh, Series 200 mixing head with what we call our reduced air entrapment and reduced volume impeller. We have as a high speed dynamic mixer that is driven by a 2 horsepower AC drive running about oh, a little over 3,000 RPM. The conical shape is an excellent mixer, also, it creates a pumping action to reduce back pressure, so we're able to fill this board in this process. The material streams component in A and B are on independent valve blocks. This valve features, it's a three-way valve assembly that features several lines features. We have an external calibration port where material is dispensed into cups for weighing and calibration and checking ratio. The next position we, did, we shift, reorient our actuator and material is dispensed into the mix chamber. We control pressure both in calibration and pour by conveniently located adjustable orifices. Assembly, as you've seen, is quite simple. The disassemble and also the assembly is just as easy. We use very convenient, what they call a sanitary type clamp fitting. Close and tight. During the process, we monitor pressures that are very that are conveniently located. In case of a mechanical failure, the pressure gauge will give you an indication that something is, has gone wrong. In addition, we have high pressure safety on the machine. Calibration, what we really do is we just set our calibration timer to three seconds, get an idea of where we want to be on output versus our displacement, the cc's per rev that the pump is displacing. We simply put the cups underneath the calibration port. For three seconds, we calibrate material, take the cups, weigh them, and make any proper adjustments to ensure proper ratio that need to be made. Since we are working with volumetric pumps, we can mathematically figure this by using either the potentiometer or the RPM display based on displacement per rev of the particular pump. Thank you.
excess flash. Repeatable, which we'll demonstrate real quickly. We'll pour a smaller board, um, identical process, but somewhat of a smaller board. Thank you. Here's again, we're ready to pour the first port. Thank you. Safety glasses with side shield protection, especially using a urethane machine. Don't forget that, gentlemen. Um, also, we have protective hand clothing, protective clothing, and protective shoes. What we're going to do is we're going to start our mixer. We've already calibrated once again. Mixer start. We're going to start the pour. We've got the pour. We've got good flow. What we're going to do is insert into the pour hole. Just a very simple process. Once again, using our Series 200 North American Urethane Mixing Head with the conical mixer. Reduce the air and traffic light. It's a very, very simple controlled process. Once again, monitoring our pressure gauges to make sure that we don't have a problem. Within a couple of seconds here, we're going to see the material rise from the screw hole, indicating that the part is filled. Any initial air is originally released at first. Good. We move from the hole. We're going to stop our pour and begin our soft flush cycle. All fully automatic. Once again, it's just a simple machine, very easy to use. Uh, could use it, be used as a workstation in this application where multiple small units are placed with different colors for short run orders and tables. We'll be demoting this in about two minutes and I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you. As you can see, what we call tack free. This material has been here for about two minutes. Set up and tack. It's free to the touch. It's no longer tacking, which we refer to as tack free. Doing this. Same we're dealing with last time, opening the clamps. We have a backer board to maintain the clamping for us to make sure we don't have distortion on the bladder. In this case, it looks like we're using a European marker. I'm going to have to use a tool. And we should have a little pry bar. Removing the base board. Just physically lifting. The board, the bladder, and all. And you see no bleed through front or back side. Removing the bladder, basically just put some air lock, a little, little snug. Hopefully, we'll go around the edges. We do have a relief on this mode, also, this tool also. I know it wasn't an originally designed relief, but we got relief on this tool now. So, and once again, with the Ed Sweets equipment, displaying another beautiful board, mobile free, both front and back side. That's uh, where our tool modification was. Might be able to look at. I don't know if you're getting a real good photo of that, bubble freeness of the part, uniformity. Another good part. I'm sure you'll be pleased with your new piece of Ed Sweets metering and dispensing. Thank you.